okay welcome back to make easy once again in this tutorial we'll discuss about how to print this string pattern in QBasic so today I'm not going to show you the write-on of the program but I will give you the logic or the way to solve the string pattern program okay let's begin now we need to print this pattern that is starting from computer next time from the second position OMPUTER third time then MPUTER so basically whenever you want to print the pattern so you need to check the pattern first in which pattern the string is printed so as you can see first of all computer is printed in the next line you can see the last character of this computer string that is R is printed here in the next also the R is printed in the next also R is printed next also R R R R that means the rightmost character is repeated in every pattern in every line rightmost character that is r the last character rightmost character so basically what we can say is we can use here right dollar function if right most character is repeated in every line so right dollar then maybe this computer string is stored in a dollar so let's assume that so okay so if we want to print this computer from this a dollar so what we should write a dollar right dollar a dollar then from right hand side from this a dollar string how many characters we want to print so let's count it c o m p u t e r that means eight character so when you write it means from right hand side from this a dollar we want to print eight characters so in the next line you can see right dollar a dollar comma from right hand side how many characters you want to print let's check this is right hand side so one two three four five six seven so we want to print only seven character from right hand side so in the next one right dollar again a dollar how many characters let's count it one two three four five six so we want to print only six character from right hand side in the same way in the next line right dollar a dollar comma five because we want to print five characters next line four next line three next line two next line one so this will look like this just wait for a second as you can see here we have completed this pattern printing program without using the loop so this is the just way of solving pattern printing program so now you can see from right hand side eight characters seven characters six characters five characters four characters three characters two characters and only one character check here there is only one character that is r that is the last one character that is right most character we need to print only one character so i have written here one next you can see only two characters so i have written here a dollar comma two from right hand side only two characters that means from this string two characters means er so we have printed this okay this is just the <coughs> rough work of pattern printing program from here what you can <clears throat> says we have number eight seven six five four three two one in the descending order is starting from eight to one so we need to use loop in the loop we'll start from eight and we'll go up to one and instead of writing this eight seven six five four three two one we'll write loop variable so let's do this program in qbasic let me write your code just below this first of all cls and then we need to store a dollar equals to computer then after this i need to use loop for i will use here b equals to 8 2 1 why 8 to 1 because you can see the number 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so it will start from 8 and it will go up to 1 and whenever you are using loop in descending order you need to write step minus 1 why minus 1 because first time we need 8 8 minus 1 will be 7 7 minus 1 will be 6 so in this way you need to write step minus 1 now print what you want to print i want to print right dollar same as it is then bracket a dollar comma <clears throat> instead of writing this 8 we have loop variable that is b so if i will write here b b means the 8 now I can write next B. Next B means value of B will be decremented by one. So first time value of 
b is 8 second time value of b will be 7 because we have written here my step minus 1 so this is done now and this is the complete program so let's test this program in the QBasic itself so let me run the program now if you don't know how to write on this program you can watch my previous videos related to the string pattern and you can understand it and it is very much simple I have shown you the rough work as well as the complete program and I have explained why we have used here 8 to 1 step minus 1 because we have to earn the rough work and that value started from 8 up to 1 and every time step minus 1 that means 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay let's hope this program will execute and give us the correct result okay finally you can see the result computer OMP UTR, MP UTR, PUTR, UTR, TER, ER and R so this is what we want okay this is exactly same and the output is also same and the code is here in the QBasic okay that's it this is the simple program thank you for watching I hope you understand the concept and the program Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like button and subscribe button and share with your friends. And if you need the dry run of this program, just write in the comment section. I will make the dry run of this program as well. Have a good day.